Scientific American uh, in the early 70s, which compared the efficiency of locomotion for various species of things on the planet. And they ranked them. And it turns out the condor won. And man came in with a rather unimpressive showing about a third of the way down the list. It's somewhat disappointing. But someone there had the insight to test the efficiency of man riding a bicycle. And man riding a bicycle was twice as good as the condor, all the way off the end of the list. And what it really illustrated was man's ability as a tool maker to fashion a tool that can amplify an inherent ability that he has. It's really important to make a film like this, to show the wonder of being on a bike, the freedom that it can give you, the fact that it's a very small tool that can mean a huge amount of change. The English word bicycle is one thing, right? The French word vélo it derives from velocipede. A, a velocipede literally um, marries up the technology of the bicycle with the human foot. It means a fast foot, right? <laughs> it's a stunning technological achievement. But in our stupidity, we've forgotten about how effective it is. The reason that this matters right now is because we're not near the tipping point, we're at the tipping point. In a time of energy crisis, we're making a new film, Chasing the Sun. A film that shows the true potential of the bicycle and asks the question, is now the time to rethink how we use energy? Is it time to ask not how fast we can go, but how far? We'll follow Chase the Sun, where ordinary people ride an extraordinary 200 miles in a single day using just muscle power, fueled by mere sandwiches and cups of tea. We'll go beyond the ride, revealing how the bicycle's good energy is pushing up green shoots across the UK, reducing congestion and pollution, and creating mental and physical well-being along the way. The film will take time to reflect on that ultimate source of energy and life, the sun itself. As riders head towards it, we'll ask, how much can we change? How far can we go? It's a massive tool for change that could make such a difference to so many lives. <laughs>